Pengu just released the iOS 8 jailbreak, and the most common question I've gotten this week is, it's 2014, I'm happy with my phone, do I still need to jailbreak? Let's take a look at the answer. So for those of you that have watched my videos the last couple of years, you know that my Texplain series is by far my most well-known and most requested series. And so I'm bringing it back with this hot topic. It's 2014, I like my phone, do I still need to jailbreak it? And it's a great question. For those of you that don't know what jailbreaking is, pull your head out of the sand. No, I'm just kidding, it's, it's fine. Jailbreaking is removing the limitations of iOS by a software or hardware exploit. If you're thinking, what the heck does that mean? Jailbreaking gives you root level access to your device so that you can add applications, modify system files, really make your phone look, feel, and perform exactly how you want. And that is something that, you know, us Android, uh, us iOS users envy a lot about the Android community. And I love Android because of that is because you can make it exactly how you want. And that's really cool. Now on iOS, historically, you haven't been able to do that. You can get it in every, any, flavor you, any flavor you want, so long as that flavor is vanilla. <laughs> but I mean, that's about as far as it goes. There's not that kind of functionality in iOS or customization, unless you jailbreak. Now, a lot of people know that. I'm not going to go into the stability and advantages of blah, 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 because we already all know that. If you don't, or you wanna learn more, or if you're interested in jailbreaking and you don't know how to do it, check out links below where I've provided a couple of awesome sites for insight such as that. But if we look, I looked back, I made a list here that I have, back to 2009, the stuff that was not available that I really wanted in iOS. Okay, so I'm gonna read you off this list and let's see what you think. The things I wanted in 2009, the reasons I jailbroke, were because I wanted quick reply SMS. I wanted wallpapers on the home screen. I wanted lock screen notifications. I wanted to unlock the baseband to use my phone on international carriers. I wanted to tether my device to my computer. I wanted quick access toggles to quickly turn on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, etc. I wanted to create and manage folders. Now you may be scratching your head saying, well, those are all available on iOS. And you're right. And so this is kind of the hot topic of this question is, all the stuff I really used to want, I have. And so do I need to jailbreak? And this is the question that you, you need to ask yourself. In 2010 or 2011, or I, I don't care, go back to any previous version of iOS, let's say iOS 5. Did you wake up in the morning, use your phone with iOS 5 and say, geez, this sucks, I hate this. No, you were fine with iOS 5. iOS 5 was a great operating system. And you know, it's the same with iOS 8. We wake up, there, I don't think there's a single person out there other than Android fanboys and they're a whole nother thing. <laughs> Stay away. They, they, I don't think you wake up and say, geez, iOS 8 is total crap, I hate it. I, I wanna go back to iOS 5. No, nobody says that. And you look back at iOS 5 and you think, whoa, how did I like that? That's horrible. And so we have a constant evolution. Uh, our standard for what is good changes as things improve. And jailbreaking used to offer really cool functionality like that and still does. It's just different from what it used to be. So every time, every iteration of iOS brings a feature or two that were in the jailbreak community that Apple has stolen, copied, and made more elegant. And that's one of the great reasons about the jailbreaking community is it makes people who don't jailbreak have a more elegant and streamlined operating system. But it also allows those of us who want to change stuff the ability to do so. Now, I want to ask you the question, do you think now in days, you know, in 2014 in November, that there are some cool tweaks for iOS if you jailbreak that you can't currently get by stock? If you answered no, you're wrong and you're dumb. Because I want to show you one that I think is really cool. I've been using it every single day. It's really simple, but it's great. Notice the finger placement of my phone, okay? Hey Siri, when is the Utah Jazz game on Friday? Friday at 5 30 p.m. Did you see that? I didn't touch any buttons. So there is some really cool stuff that is available for iOS 8, for the iPhone 6, for the iPhone 6 Plus that by default is not available on iOS. And so if you want that kind of functionality, jailbreaking is awesome. If you're perfectly fine, you don't want to modify your phone, you don't want to have to maintain it, then you probably don't need to jailbreak. But I want to share with you a couple of things that I've installed on my iOS 6 device that I really like, iOS 8 device, sorry, my iPhone 6 iOS 8 device uh, that I really, really like, like button reprogramming. 
untethered Hey Siri, five icon dock, folder hierarchies, custom carriers, custom lock screens. The list is endless and the tweaks can go on for days. Speaking of tweaks, I'm going to have a video coming in the couple, next couple of days showing you my top five Cydia tweaks for iOS 8. But the fact of the matter is, is that there is a whole world of stuff that you can install on your iPhone 6 and your iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8 that you can't do by default and it's a really, really cool experience. Now, one of the great things is the huge downsides to jailbreaking used to be the fact that you lost stability and that you lost a crap ton of battery life. And in 2014, that's no longer the case. The Pengu jailbreak is fantastic. There are very little, if no, uh, hardware or software defects. I mean, I haven't had to reboot my device other than to install stuff since I got it. It is a complete transformation of what I think about jailbreaking. It is incredibly stable, super fast, really quick. And I'd say that the battery performance is actually better now that I've jailbroken than it was before, believe it or not, because I've installed a couple of extensions to help with that. So the two kind of things that used to be the big downsides to jailbreaking, at least in this iteration of iOS, uh, this iOS 8 Pengu jailbreak, it's not a problem. And so if you want that extra functionality that iOS doesn't provide, I would absolutely, without a doubt, recommend iOS 8 jailbreak to the roofs. I mean, it is fantastic. If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to mess with stuff, that doesn't really have the time to jailbreak, or is perfectly 100% legitimately satisfied with their phone, that you wouldn't change anything, and I don't think there's very many of us, then you probably don't need to jailbreak. But I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. I endorse jailbreaking. <laughs> no, I think it's really cool. And I think you'll find some really awesome functionality that you otherwise could not find. So for me, jailbreaking is a no brainer, but really at the end of the day, it just depends on you. If you want that just works functionality for iOS, jailbreaking probably isn't the thing for you. But if you've always lusted or envied after the functionality and customization that Android offers, it's about time you jailbroke your phone. Because jailbreaking now in 2014, not only is still relevant, but it is more awesome of an experience than it has been in seven years since the original jailbreak came out. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.